So check out this shit. This right here done pierced a lot of people low. But either you can laugh at it or you can take it seriously. I just hope that y'all don't take it seriously and just laugh at it like I does. But this is ridiculous. Check this out right here. So someone told Chick y'all idolize rappers, baby mamas, and this how she responded. This shit like this it made me laugh because y'all do the same thing just in a different form. Y'all idolize men who throw balls. Y'all could tell us how well the men throw balls. Y'all got they statistics, they numbers, they track record on how well, how long they been throwing them goddamn balls. Y'all watch them throw them balls three, four times a week. Y'all watch them throw them balls 17 different ways because, you know, there's 17 different games of men throwing balls. Y'all know all them men who throw balls names, they history, what schools they been at throwing them balls, what teams they played for throwing them balls. Y'all wear them men's name on y'all back. They numbers throwing them goddamn balls. Wearing another grown man's last name on your goddamn back. But when but when a lady is pretty and fly and her hair look nice and she kind of funny and she happen to have a baby by a rapper, bitches are weird for tapping in. Y'all are obsessed with men who throw balls. I heard it because I'm not even done. Y'all sit up and watch entire TV channels where you sit and watch other men tell you their opinion of the men throwing the balls and how well they throwing the balls. Y'all sit and play games simulating, pretending to be these, these men who throw the balls because y'all like us so much. Y'all go as far as to get numbers tatted on you, names tatted on you, faces tatted on you of these men who throw these balls. Men can't tell me shit, bro. Y'all are crazy. All right, so Chet right here said, I know she lying, LMAO, this is a mental illness. No way she's comparing niggas that work and win championships to a shorty on IG twerking in the club. The chick's really tearing her ass up. Like, please, please. Once again, I'm trying to say this more on my video. These are isolated women with their weird thinking. Sometimes when I cover shit like this, they do not represent a majority of chicks, all right? All right so deal with them on an individual basis. All right, so this woman says she thought she ate. I'm a woman and I disagree. You can't compare sports to baby mamas. They said it's all I heard right here. Straight bird talk. Nigga said a woman sucking money bad dick ain't never won me a 10 leg parlay, but whatever, man. <laughs> facts, facts. When Jada Waiter can make me some money on FanDuel, let me know. <laughs> Work cited. Do. Crack. Crack. This lady said, I hate when women like this make me side with the men, because what the fuck? This comparison you're making, you're comparing athletes to well known sluts? Another woman saying, I hate when women make me be on the man's side. All right, said, homie said, no need to tag me. I got it. So, all right, y'all going to start seeing this guy more on Black Twitter uh, episodes. What he does is compile. Let me show y'all. He's been compiling a list of things that they say men can Balls. do. It's always a long ass list. So, check this out. It's a all this shit. Y'all may want to stop and pause and read it. But it's all this stuff right here. It's stuff from Twitter that they've been telling men that they can't do. Y'all seen the video when I said that uh, they said men can't drink lemonade no more. It's certain things. It's like crazy shit, dog. It's crazy shit. We can't listen to Sizzle easy. Can't fend about your feelings. It's a lot of things. Drink juice. You can't drink juice with pulp. Watch porn except lesbian porn. Basically have any common knowledge about sports, especially ones with balls. Pause. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and move on to the next story, though. All right. So they're asking us to do wrong for this. Damn. Can I get back up? Can I get back up? Right. <laughs> oh, he needs somebody to open up another register. At least he acted quick and, you know, didn't show no emotions. That's fucked up, though. I can't lie. I can't lie. That's fucked up. If the next guest would like to line up on aisle three, or register three. It's, it look like they're Audi. That's kind of fucked up. But um, the, the cashier was on point though to keep it G. But I can't lie, I have been in situations like a broke college student, you know, not trying to ask nobody for money. Yeah, that's definitely Audi. No, you get. He said sorry, but I definitely have been a broke ass college student. And um, I remember one point in time, I worked at a point in time, but I was just didn't know how to manage money really well. But it was my payday, and I had to go and pick up my check 
from my job. But I didn't have any gas to actually go to my job to get my check and no cash at all. Broke ass college student shit for real. So I had to really compile all the coins that I was saving and go to the gas station to go and you know to go ahead and pay for it. But I counted everything myself. I separated things like this a dollar, this a dollar, this a dollar, this a dollar. I ain't do it like that. You feel me? That's kind of that's not not even kind of that's really fucked up. Well in college you had to figure it out. Let me know if y'all know about that lifestyle. Just having to figure it out. And like I used to have really pride on not wanting no one to help me. I just want to do everything on my own. So I just struggle for no reason. I'm gonna tell y'all 100 percent Like my parents and family definitely would have helped me more if I would have asked them more. But I just wanted to like go through it. I'm really, really stubborn with that. But uh let me know if y'all can relate to that. But uh next story though. So similar situation, a scripple went into Walgreens trying to pay with her ones. Let's see what's happening in this interaction. Well, we already sat here and counted it, and I'm still loading my I car. Haven't. I haven't counted. Okay, well, it's your job to do this, and you're not supposed to sit here and tell me I can't load my car. Under the circumstances, yes, I can. I can refuse service. You actually can't. You're being rude, but it's okay. I'm gonna put it on everything, social media, and all. He been weird. It's not on the screen anymore. You said the money stinks as well? Yes. Okay. I'm putting on gloves. That's I don't fine. Think it's That's fine. You're right. <laughs> I would do the same. You do not have my permission to film this. Why he being weird? I'm going to keep it. I'm going to tell y'all why, but he being weird. Red nose I day. Do. In a public area, I actually do. It's not private property at all. Yeah. If you don't like your job, don't do it. Thank you. <laughs> I got hair. Right, is there not just a button to push the principal? No, it's, it's oh, way more complicated. He really just don't like his job. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how complicated is it? Because I ain't got exactly. All that. Not complicated. It ain't, it ain't complicated. <laughs> oh, does that sit? But I'm going to keep it G. Buddy just being an asshole for one. When I was a G, like my first job was I was a manager at a Walgreens. Like I, for some damn reason, my young ass had a very, very important position. I was no shift lead. I was actually manager at the fucking store. Well, right under the store manager. I was second in charge. But I would have been happy as hell that someone came with all them damn ones, especially at a super busy store. I would have been happy. Yes, give me all the ones. Let me give you these big bills because that saves me because I don't have to call Brinks to go ahead and order ones from Brinks. Because if you had a busy store like I had, every two or three days, you got to call Brinks to make different orders for different sets of change that right there even though it's tough sometimes you have a bunch of ones but that right there would have saved a lot of damn time and i definitely remember some strippers coming in sometimes and um i'm in miami i'm in miami and i was appreciative every time and me myself personally i'm under the assumption that every damn dollar bill is dirty Nigga, you know how much times that money has changed hands? You better assume that shit dirty as hell. You supposed to be protecting yourself anyways, my boy. But uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next story though. But at least some people trying to pay their way. Let's check out this conversation going on. This person is breaking down a scenario that I see a lot of people have discussions about. Her name is Moore Desi V. Let's check this out. Thank you. Okay, y'all, so the bill's like 3000 so I, we can all just put it evenly. So, like, everybody pay, like, 250 300 Um, Can I have someone's card so I can put it down? I need someone's card to pay for the bill, and then we could all just, like, sell or cash up later or whatever. Why don't I you order call? pasta and a drink. Like, be for real. Uh, no, my bill with tax and tips should be, like, $92, and that's all I'm paying. <laughs> I mean, if y'all broke, just say that. Like, this is why I do not like doing these dinners. Well, yeah, I mean, you got a steak, lamb chops, you got an appetizer, you got four sides, you ordered all that alcohol. Okay, and? No one's gonna pay for it for you. You need to pay for it. Okay, just nobody has time to, like, be adding all that stuff up. It's easier to just split the bill. Y'all be acting broke. Y'all be acting funny. Split the check. What's the problem? We're broke because we don't want to pay for your meal. How does that make sense? <laughs> Quickly. Yeah, we don't have to add all that up. We can just split it evenly. 
be for real be so fucking for real just the entitlement for me like you ordered what you ordered you need to pay for what you ordered you're calling everybody broke because we don't want to pay for your meal yeah, nah, I, I agree <laughs> with the other chicks, not with the main chick trying to get everybody to pay his shit. What y'all think about that, though? Like, I, I don't know. I've never been experiencing that, you know? That's like some conversation I see happen a lot more often. Uh, but the comments that I see other people make on this, this topic let me know a lot of people agree with this mind state. But if you're not going to spend that much money, yeah, shit, yeah. Why would you have to pay that much more than if you didn't order that much? It just don't make sense to me. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. Maybe I'm broke too. Maybe I got a broke ass mind state too. Y'all let me know. But um, let's go ahead and move on to the next story though. Hold up, hold up, hold up. That was a clip from my go to series black Twitter. Watch the entire episode by either clicking the card above or the links in either the description or the pinned comment. And be sure to subscribe to the black Twitter channel.